If you throw a lump of iron weighing just one kilogram into water, it'll immediately sink. So how can ships that weigh thousands of tons float on water? Whether an object floats or sinks depends on two forces, the buoyant force of the fluid and gravity. The buoyant force is the upward force that a fluid exerts on an object, while gravity is the downward force. If we think about the difference between these two forces, we can write down a formula. Buoyant force minus gravitational force equals density of fluid minus density of object times gravitational acceleration times the volume of the object. If the buoyant force minus the gravitational force is zero, the object will float. It may float with part projecting above the fluid surface or fully submerged at the surface. If the buoyant force minus gravity is less than zero, that means the upward force acting on the object is smaller than the gravitational force and so the object will sink. The only thing that determines whether buoyancy minus gravity is positive, negative or zero is the density of the fluid and the average density of the object. If the density of the fluid is greater than the average density of the object, then the object will float. In the case of a ship, it's made of tons of steel, but the ship's hull is hollow with lots of empty spaces filled only with air. Because the density of air is very low, these spaces mean that the average density of a ship, even one weighing many thousands of tons, is lower than the density of water. And that's the reason that ships can float. <laughs>